Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. It's another interesting episode of Tutorial Tuesday and today we are taking a look at how you can create the foam effect directly in Blender by simply using Blender 2.83.5. Now, some time ago, we talked about some of the updates that are coming over to Blender. And this is a request from Chris at Intelligent Artistry. And today we're going to take a look at how you can get started with it. So with Blender open, you see we have this uh, very, you know, lovely default cube. What we need to do, regardless of whatever you have on your viewport, all you need to do is go over to your modifier, select the object which you want to convert to an ocean object or to an ocean go over to the modifier section and click on ocean and automatically you would notice you have a plane that is an ocean now there are certain things you need to keep in mind which we're going to go through so one of the main things that we need to take a look at is the resolution so the resolution is extremely important while you're working with this so for this let's say i will go through and set this to 15 and then you have the time the time is what you use to change how the water should look like and actually speaking about the water they have various spectrum of this water or the ocean so we have the top length ocean we have the established we have the established ocean with you know sharp perks and then we have the shallow waters now if you switch over to something like that you would notice that you have some very very sharp looking uh, perks and you would also notice that we have two brand new parameters here if i go back and switch to top length you notice those parameters are gone if i switch to just established you know ocean you'd also notice that we don't have those parameters so it is extremely important you know the kind of spectrum or ocean that you're trying to create before you proceed to start working with it. Now, some other thing which you also need to keep in mind is the choppiness, the scale, alignment, and you know, a couple of other stuff. So the choppiness actually deals with the direction that your object gets displaced. So depending on what and what you're working on, you can actually get this one to work. So right now the choppiness is set to, let's set this over to zero. If I go in and punch the scale, which would work as an overall displacement tool, since it controls the amplitude of the wave. So if I go through and do something like that, you would notice that because our choppiness is set to zero, it only displaces or it only moves this object within the Z axis. If I start increasing this choppiness, you see it starts moving this within the X and Y axis. So this is something that is very important that you should keep in mind while trying to generate this stuff. So I'm also going to bring this down. So let's actually just get a little bit like that, you know, play with the choppiness just a little bit like that. And that's it. The alignment itself has to do with the direction of the wave shape due to the wind. So at zero, you would notice that the wave itself are either randomly or uniformly oriented. So if I go in and start playing with that at frame zero, we can get something like this. Actually, let's switch this to wireframe or better still, we can just turn on wireframe here so you can see what we have. So we can go in and let's get that scale a bit more like so. And yes, we can use this and you can see what we're getting. So if I start increasing this at this point, you will notice that the wind seems to be moving this in a different direction altogether. So these are things that would influence and also help you get the most out of the ocean object while you're working with it. You can also choose to use the size to increase the size of the ocean object that you're working on. You can also choose to play with the depth. So depending on what you want to get going, you can play with the depth. And then the time is where you can animate stuff. So in this case, what we're going to do is within the very first keyframe, we're just going to go over here, right click and add a keyframe. And we're going to move this over to 250 and right over here i'm just going to dial the number let's say we're going to dial the number of 10 maybe maybe 15 so we're just going to make that 15 and you know keyframe this one more time so if i bounce this all the way back press the playback button you can see that we have the wind happening and of course we have the wave going in so if you want to make some tweaks at this point this is like one of the best time for you to do that. So we can go in there and start making those tweaks. For example, we would like to, you know, tone down or play with alignment. So we can also do that. So you can see it's now distributed randomly. If we want this to be distributed, you know, uniformly, we can also go in and also make some changes to that. So these are certain things that you need to keep in mind while trying to create the ocean. So at this point, we are done making the ocean. We have animated the ocean the way we want it to be. 
what is left is for us to go in and shade this and also add the foams so shading this is going to be very easy because we would like to shade this and make it transparent we need to go to the material properties scroll all the way down go over to transmission and punch this up since transmission is responsible for that and we'll like this not to be so rough so maybe we can you know push this back a bit and i guess this is all about it so if we jump over to ev you would notice that it's totally transparent and a good way to also see if this is transparent or not is to plug in a hdri map so if you already have this amazing plugin known as the hdri maker you can easily you know use this to get things going so you can use the hdri maker to get things going and if you would like to use something that you already have you can choose to use yours so we can go in and say we want to import this so real quick, I'm just going to import something and yeah, so you can import your own HDRIs and right now you can see you have this going. So with the HDRI maker, of course, you can do a whole lot of things. I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can check this plugin out just in case you want that. Something else which we can do is because we're using the HDRI. I mean, you can also do all of these things here. It's just that, you know, the HDRI maker just makes things a little bit more easier. We can go over to the background control and turn on transparent background so right now you can literally see this the way it is if you would like to colorize this by simply using the hdr maker you can also colorize this stuff as it is all right so let's press n to get rid of that and the next thing which we need to do is to go all the way up switch these over to the shader and then we are going to add a mix shader so the mix shader is something that we need to plug in between that and then we also need to plug in an emission so i'm just going to bring an emission and plug this as a shader that should you know work alongside with our principal bsdf next thing which i would like to do is to run through and get an attribute and the way this works is the attribute that you assign within the attribute section right here is the attribute that you need to also assign right over here so first things we need to do is to come over here and i can choose to call this foam i can choose to call it whatever so for this example i'm just going to call this foam and maybe put an underscore i'm just going to grab that there and then if i go over to the modifier i need to click on generate foam click right here and then we can just paste that and press the enter key so once you do that you would notice that we have these white particles around so these white particles that you have right here you can choose to strengthen them because we're using the emission so if i go in and start punching this all the way up you can now start noticing that we have these things right here i can switch all the way back and go over to the animation timeline section and if we go through and press the playback you can see this if you like to get more resolution right here you can do one of these two things okay you can choose to drop down the size and this is going to force you to start making some changes right here or you can do the other one which is increasing the resolution so for this i think we should go with increasing the resolution i'm just going to set this to 25 press the enter key and now you can see we have a much more cleaner and sharper looking water so if you would like to render this now you can go in there and render this with ev and do all of that stuff so let's turn on you know our screen space reflections turn on the ambient occlusion and maybe a couple of bloom things like that and i think we need to lose this light and yeah this is all about it so if you're trying to work with you know the ocean modifier and you're having issues or maybe you just want some sort of clarity on how to get things done this is how you can get things done something else to also keep in mind is once you're working with the ocean modifier and you have all of these things cranked up you may not be able to preview this on your viewport so what i would always suggest is you can drop this down to maybe a level of 10 preview it do your animations do everything you want and then before you just hit render or before you choose to bake this you can go in there and you know crank this something like 30 for example looks good and yep you have that going for you so this is all about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section this is another interesting episode of tutorial tuesday and of course if you have questions about certain things and you want us to cover them for the next tutorial tuesday please put that in the comment section and of course we will do our best to cover those and of course i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend links to all of the things which we've talked about is going to be in the description so you can do well to check them out and until i see you guys next time with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace